Follow-up now to a questionable contract at Angola first exposed by the WBRZ investigative unit last month. That contract was canceled following our reporting showing a high-ranking warden at the state prison managed to get a contract to cut the grass there. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto here now with why the contract was rescinded. State ethics laws are supposed to prevent what we exposed. Those laws did not. But after our story, the State Office of Juvenile Justice did the right thing and cut ties with it. It's been a month since the WBRZ investigative unit exposed the Rosso brothers getting a contract to cut grass at Angola. Both are employed there and managed to get this contract to cut grass. It smells fishy. It just smells corrupt. LSU law professor Ken Levy called it wrong on many levels. We have a reputation for corruption that goes way back. We should be doing everything we can to, re to change our image, to, to play, um, play by the rules. And uh, this is, it seems just more of the same. The contract that did not go through the state's bid law and obtained by the WBRZ investigative unit shows it was issued on August 22, 2022 by the Office of Juvenile Justice, which is housing some troubled teens on the grounds of Angola. The contract pays William Casey Rosso $1,200 per week to cut grass in Angola. The total amount of money he'll be paid, $28,800 to cut what is described as less than an acre of grass. Rosso was a warden earning nearly $74,000. And what appears to be no coincidence, he set up a lawn service company with the Secretary of State for Rosso Lawn Services, LLC, four months later on December 2nd, 2022. A search of state employee records from 2021 shows his brother David is a corrections major earning nearly $70,000 per year at Angola. Sources say the new administration saw the WBRZ investigative unit story. They knew it was wrong and severed that contract. State ethics laws should prohibit situations like this. Section 11-13 of the Code of Ethics states no elected official or public employee shall bid on or enter into any contract, subcontract, or other transaction that is under the supervision or jurisdiction of the public servant's agency. It seems very opportunist. Um, they uh, somehow got um, notified that there was a need for lawn cutting. They saw a lot of money in this, and my understanding is it's a lucrative contract that they obtained, and um, that's just, that, that's fine if they're, a, they're an independent lawn company, they're not working for the state, but uh, these, these gentlemen are working for the state, they are working for Angola, and it's just not fair, it's not right. The contract that was issued last year was issued by the previous administration. Former OJJ Secretary Bill Summers resigned amid multiple controversies and kids escaping what are supposed to be secure state facilities. For the investigative unit, I'm Chris Nakamoto. We are told the state will now put the lawn cutting out for bid.